on guys welcome back to another video i know it's been a while but we're back uh, we're here at the local uh pick and pull yard here in town i'm here with my brother yo what's up guys what's going on we're looking for uh, some parts for for both the obs and the mbs uh, for the mbs i'm looking for the door handles along with the side mirrors that way we could color match them i figured it'd be cheaper if we could find them here instead of having to order them online for the obs uh, we'll, we'll just see what we can find for that one because it's pretty much complete. Sorry for the lack of content. Uh, I'll try to be more consistent and uh, bring out more videos for you guys. Thank you guys for supporting, even though we haven't been uploading as much. But we're going to go ahead and uh, head inside now. We'll probably catch you guys once we're in there so we don't get in trouble with the camera. And uh, we'll pick it up back then. Looks like we need new door pins for the door. It's kind of sagging. But like we said, we're here at the you pull and pay. It's basically a junkyard where you bring your own tools and you pick your parts and just pay for them. It's cheaper than going to other junkyards where they pull the parts for you. So that's why we're here. Um, I guess so. We're inside the you pull. We ran into this interesting truck. Looks like it was roller painted. <laughs> it's really, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. This is America. It's on the back window. You got bald eagles flying out the back window when you drive this thing. <laughs> we haven't found anything yet, but we just got here. Alright guys, so we just ran into this Tahoe here and uh, I just noticed it has the paintable side mirror caps. Uh, a little scratch, but nothing that can be repaired. They're just dirty. Um, we'll, we'll probably take those. I'm not sure if you could just take off the caps. I saw on another one and it looked like you could, so we'll probably just do that. We're trying to be careful here so we don't break them. Looks like they got some kind of pins. And uh, like some double sided tape on it. We were able to uh, take off the side mirror caps. They look like they're in pretty good shape. They're a little bit scratched, but uh, like I said, it's nothing that can be fixed. A little bit of bondo. Bondo fixes everything. <laughs> we'll see what else we can find. And hopefully, we find the door handles as well. That way we could get them color matched and give that truck the more finished look. And it won't look, it'll look less like a work truck, I guess you could say. Put it that way. <laughs> hey. Hey, no more than that. <laughs> I guess so. There's the caps that we scored. They do have a couple scratches, but nothing that can't be fixed. We'll be color matching these. We save ourselves some good money. We paid uh, let's see, three ninety nine for each. Total of seven ninety eight plus tax nine thirty four. I just looked them up online and they're twenty bucks a piece, so we saved a lot of money. We've been getting a uh, some requests to color match the mirrors, so. Finally gonna happen guys. We didn't find the door handles, so we'll keep an eye out for those and uh, Try to pick some up and color match everything at the same time. Let me know what else You guys want to see done to the MBS so We'll try to make it happen. Pretty excited about this. It's a little uh, late now, so If we do end up doing something else, we'll pick the camera back up then You know you live in Albuquerque, or a pretty bad city when you gotta have a steering wheel lock on your vehicle. I try to do as much as I can to prevent these rats from taking my stuff. I have a, a Viper alarm in the truck. It is a little pricey, but I think it's worth it at the end of the day. This is the alarm I have. I don't know the model number because I got it a while back, but it's a two-way alarm. So if anyone hits it or tries to open it it'll show me on the remote and it'll start beeping so that's pretty good
Yo, Nicky. Just picked up the camera now, just uh, cause we're stuck in traffic. So I'm curious where all my viewers are from. Drop a, uh, drop your state or your city. Represent. Down below, <laughs> represent. I want to hear where you guys are from, where you guys watch me from. Here in uh, Albuquerque, which is where I'm at, New Mexico. It gets dark by five. So it just makes it even harder for me to film some content for you guys. Like right now, I know it looks lighter on camera, but it is a lot darker. So it's currently 455. Look at that clean ass C5. Goals. And it's already getting dark. Um, I'll see what else I can uh, throw into this. I wanna do something a little bit different. Um, what do you guys think about some shout outs in the beginning of the video to a couple of you guys? I'll choose some random people in the comments. Leave a comment down below uh, with whatever, your Snapchat, Instagram, or just whatever you wanna say. I'll be choosing a couple random comments in the beginning of each video and shouting you guys out. So we're close to hitting 4,000 subscribers, which is pretty damn amazing. I didn't expect to have that many so quick. I wanted to let you guys know that I plan on making some stickers. I'll probably give a couple of them out to you guys and uh, sell the rest if you guys would be interested. I don't have a design yet, but I'm working on it. So hopefully soon, I'll have some decals for you guys so you guys could help me get this channel growing and eventually, I would like to have my own, uh, I guess brand you could say make some shirts or something I think that'd be pretty cool I've seen uh, some people commenting that they wanted me to clone the NBS and honestly I'm not a big fan of the clone it's just not my thing I'm nothing against them you're gonna get a lot of hate <laughs> for that <laughs> I'm gonna get some hate I know but uh, it's just not my thing honestly like I said I don't hate them but I personally won't be doing it to my truck I don't like the way that it looks honestly the, especially the front bumper yo who stole my car <laughs> we'll probably be introducing the C5 or the Corvette if you guys are familiar with the the vet terms in the in one of the next videos. This video was a little short in content, so I decided to throw a little QA in here for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So basically I did a poll on Instagram and I asked for some questions and I'll go ahead and be reading them. So if you guys participated in this Q&A by sending in your questions, uh, shout out to you guys. I don't have the, the usernames anymore because they were on my story and my story deleted, so I just saved the questions. So thank you for sending in the questions and hopefully your question gets answered. If not, drop them down below and maybe there will be a part two if you guys are interested. Let's go ahead and get started with this Q&A. So first off, I'll start off with a short introduction about myself. I know I never really introduced myself since I made this channel, but my name is Edgar, Edgar from the memes. <laughs> I don't got that Edgar cut, but that's me. I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico, as I've stated in my previous videos. I'm 27 years old, or young, however you want to see it. I do have a full-time job, so that's why I don't record as much. But uh, like I said, I'll try to be more consistent. So I am expecting my first baby, by the beginning of next year, if not towards the end of this month, so we'll see. That's basically it. Not really that interesting, as you guys can tell. Okay, so this is the first question that I got. It's, uh, what made you start a YouTube channel? I had always wanted to start a YouTube channel. I always watch these other YouTubers like Leo or Freddy, all these other trucking channels. And I always thought it was a pretty cool hobby. It looked really interesting to me. Just doing something that you like, uh, working on trucks. When this opportunity came up of me winning the truck, I basically said it's gonna be now or never. I did gain uh, some subscribers from the shout outs that Leo gave me. He really helped this channel grow from the beginning. So it grew pretty quick and I had a good following on my Instagram. So that's why I decided to do it. And I figured uh, a lot of people would want it to stay uh, up to date on the Blue NBS. I wanted to uh, record the progress of both of the trucks, both the OBS and the MBS. I, th I think it'd be pretty cool to look back a couple years from now and uh, see how much the builds have changed. That's basically why I made the YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoy the content that we put out there for you guys. We do put a lot of time and effort into editing the videos and getting the content for you guys. So 
be sure to live a big life on the video if you guys enjoy it this was another big question or i saw a lot of people commenting on my video that they thought that the the raffle was rigged <laughs> and uh, people thought that leo sold me the truck a lot of people were also saying that i was friends with leo or cousins or i don't know what <laughs> we're making all this stuff up but no i did not know leo before this um i just basically uh bought lanyards like everyone else did and i won i was really procrastinating on buying some lanyards because i never win anything i waited almost till the end of the raffle and i just went for it bought my lanyards and here we are today thankfully um shout out to static leo static joel for making it happen but uh yeah the raffle wasn't rigged like i said you gotta pay to play and next time it could be you you never know you gotta risk it for the biscuit like they say do you plan on keeping both trucks and future plans for both? I do plan on keeping both trucks. A lot of people wanted me to sell the MBS right when I got it. There was a lot of people messaging me on Instagram, but that wasn't gonna happen. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't plan on selling them, any of them, anytime soon. Especially my OBS, just because I've had it for I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's probably been over five years, and I've really got attached to it. Future plans. Future plans for the MBS, I do plan on going lower hopefully with that truck. I want to switch the 24s to 22s, throw some interior on there. So hopefully this YouTube thing works out for me and my brother. Um, we're just really trying to make it out here. Hopefully this channel blows up like all these other YouTubers out there. Um, that'd be a dream come true honestly. Uh, if that's the case, we could start doing some engine mods. Uh, we can start off small, some headers, full exhaust, you never know, maybe even a cam. Um, Someone say a cam? <laughs> <laughs> we sure did, buddy. So uh, hopefully we could throw a cam in the MBS, sadly, today this isn't for me. It's going on my brother's uh, Corvette. Uh, stay tuned for that. So the next question we have is, uh, what did you feel when you won the truck? That's really... It's really a hard question for me to answer, honestly. I, I was shocked. Uh, I w it was unexpected. I never, like I said, I never win anything. So getting that call from Leo just made me really, I don't know how to explain it, but I was, I was shocked. Um, like I said, I still feel shocked to this day. I don't take it out much uh, just because crime here in Albuquerque is so bad that I'd rather not risk it, honestly. I'm thankful overall for this even happening to me. Hopefully one day I can uh, do this for one of you guys. That'd be another dream come true. So in order for that to happen, you guys know that we do need a lot of support from you guys. Um, big shout out to the ones that are here uh, since the beginning, since day one. Next question that we got is, what made you get into the truck scene? So I always had a thing for OBSs just because my dad owns one currently. You guys might have seen it in the background a couple times. It's a 95 Sierra. It's a... Is it extender cap? Is that how you say it? Yeah. Extender cap. Previous to that one, he used to own a, another OBS. I can't remember the year off the top of my head. I was still young when he had it. I'll try to find some pictures and uh, leave them here for you guys so you guys can check them out. But i basically been around OBSs my whole life, I guess you could say. So they've just really grown on me. And especially now that this truck scene thing blew up, just seeing these OBSs out there uh, finished and fully modified just really motivates me to to finish mine. My, my plan or my goal for 2020 will be to get that truck painted. I can't wait to just see that thing for one color already. That'll be my goal for 2020 and to still be doing YouTube and bringing these videos out for you guys. Next year, hopefully we can attend some truck shows as well. Locally here, we don't have that many truck events just because our city isn't that great. It's pretty ratchet. <laughs> projects. <laughs> it's full of projects. So yeah, I mean, if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to uh, drop a like, some comments, any more questions that you guys might have for us, leave them down in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to turn on your little bell so you don't miss any of our videos when we do upload, um, which will be more often. <laughs> like I said, we should have a couple more videos before the year ends for you guys. End off the year good. Don't forget to share the videos. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.